What up, what up? Wimbush here, and today I'm finally going to start doing some 360 VR tutorials for you guys here on YouTube. Now, I've had a lot of requests because a lot of people have known me as I was actually dubbed pioneer of 360 VR, maybe back in like 2015 by a couple of guys at Adobe when I was speaking at Adobe Max. But since then, I've gone on to work with Mixmaster Mike, Transformers, Mark Christopher Lawrence, the Special Olympics, the list goes on and on doing VR projects, and my specialty is motion graphics but I've done a couple of Facebook live you know type things for metal but I've never put like a proper tutorial together on YouTube so that's going to change now I'm going to start mixing that in along with my redshift and unreal tutorials and so this first one is going to be how to take out the car that you put your tripod on whenever you're using a 360 camera and the reason I'm doing this one is because one of the viewers requested it the footage is actually donated by Duck Wynn he asked me how does he take this car out it looks like it's going through like a hotel and it's really easy with mocha pro so without further ado let's jump right into after effects okay so again i want to thank mr duck win he's the one that supplied the footage for this tutorial here more specifically because he wanted to know how to get rid of this car down here that he has his tripod mounted on to film this footage it looks like they're moving through some type of like lobby of an office suite but with mocha pro 2019 this should be pretty easy to knock out so we're gonna do that for you now just to kind of give you an idea of how to knock this out so let me close out of this footage and i have after effects already opened and set up all i did was bring my footage in make a composition and that's what our equitangular footage looks like supplied by mr duck win so i'm gonna come over to effects and presets type in mocha and i'm gonna use mocha pro because all the vr tools are now in mocha pro they still have mocha vr legacy but if you're using 2019 and beyond everything is in mocha pro so once we have this in our um, effects panel you come down to views and we want to do 360 mono because this is mono footage. Then I'm going to click on the Mocha button. And now we have Mocha opened. I'm going to click start. And let's begin. We're in the classic panel right now. And so what I want to do first is where it says 360, click on that. And then I'm going to click on my hand and I can pan down to where we have our car at. So I'm going to line this up like so. And then the next step will be to come over and create an X spline. So right here on the left side, click on this pen tool with the X above it. And I'm just gonna do a little dirty roto around our vehicle here. And then next, I'm actually gonna select all these points here. And I'm just gonna round it out. So if you pull it down, you can round out your, your mask here. And then pull this out a little bit. Because this is going to be our remove layer. So everything that's within this circle is going to get removed. And so that we know that this is our remove layer over on our left hand side under layer one. Let's rename this one to remove. Like so. And let's lock it down with the lock icon. Because we want to make our tracking mask now. So I'm going to click back on the X blind tool. And this time I'm just going to create like a box. A big box around everything here. And here we go. And this is basically going to be like our scanner. So it's going to scan our ground and track everything for us. And we want to bring this layer number two. Well, actually, let's name it first. I'm going to just name it tracking layer. And then you want to bring it underneath because Mocha works like After Effects, everything top down. So we want to make sure we have our tracking layer down here below. And now over here, if you go down a few spaces where it says link to track, we want to click none. So make sure I have that clicked on none. And let me see, do we need anything else in here? Let's click on our, um, our planar grid so we can see everything as it's tracking down. And then we can also click on our show planar surface, which is this blue box right here. So I think now all that's left to do is 
track it. Let me go to my essentials view. It's a little bit easier to see everything. If I come up to view, zoom the fit. Okay, so now I can see my track motion options of everything clicked on here. All right, yeah, so the next spot is to, let me go back to classic again. Not to jump back and forth, but I have my screen enlarged so that everybody can see it on YouTube. So sometimes I'm not able to see everything down here, but it looks like we're good to go. So right here in my lower right hand corner, I'm gonna click track forward. And as you can see, Mocha Pro is um, GPU accelerated. So in the upper right hand corner, you can see it's just flying through auto frames here. And if I look at my track, it looks like everything is tracking pretty well. I mean, this is the power of Mocha Pro opposed to, you know, rotoing everything out yourself by hand. This is actually tracking it pretty well here. So I'm going to give this a few more moments, let this all track out, and then we'll continue whenever it's done. All right, so now I'm back. It looks like our track is complete. If I scroll through our timeline, we can see we have a perfect track here. So now our next step is I'm going to come back over to where my layers are. I'm going to click off my um, my lock box here. And then this I, where it says process, I'm clicking this off as well. And then I click on my remove, come down to my remove panel. And since this was a pretty fairly track or fairly easy track, sorry. All I'm going to do now is come over to where it says save the project. Click on that. Now I'm going to go up to file exit and now we're back into After Effects. Now under module render, under my modules, we want to click on our remove and then we're going to click on render. And then after a few, a few moments, we're going to see that our car is completely gone in which it is. So if I zoom in and pull up, you can see it looks pretty perfect here. And if I scroll through my timeline, our truck is completely out of the shot. So if you wanted to check how this would look in your, like inside your headset, you can always come down to here in the lower left-hand corner where we have the um, Adobe Immersive Environment. You would have to have like an Oculus or a Vive or something of that nature, but you could check it out with um, the 360 Monoscoptic. And then um, if you didn't have a headset or you didn't want to bother with the headset, you could come under window and down at the very bottom, you see VR Comp Editor. And so I'm just going to click on add to the edit. I'm not going to add anything. I just want to see what it looks like when everything would look like you're in a headset. So now that I clicked on that, I'm going to click on my camera and I can actually scroll around my footage now and I can check out my, my track here. And you can see that the truck is completely out of the shot. And if I scroll forward a little bit, still check it. Yeah. And it replaced the carpet perfectly. And so, I mean, that only took a few minutes to do Mocha, especially if you, um, if you have a good GPU. It's extremely, extremely helpful. And so hopefully that helped you out with this shot. If you have any more questions, leave me a comment in the link below. I'll try to help you out. But I mean, that was pretty simple, especially with the footage that you have. You have this um, crazy pattern on the carpet and it's still pretty good. So hopefully that helped you out. And as always, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to come back with some more 360 tutorials along with Redshift, Unreal, World Creator, the whole plethora. I just have to finish up a few projects for Comic-Con. But until next time, keep creating. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.